Welcome, welcome to the Rick Elps Real Estate Show. Today we're going to talk about the question I get a lot in Arizona. Do we have enough water? A lot of concern, all these people moving here, and there's a drought going on in the West, and especially down here in the Southwest. So do we have enough water or don't we? So we're going to look at a few things because it's interesting out there because right here you can see that <clears throat> Arizona water supply issues continue. Staff in the Bureau of Reclamation and Upper Divisions states are working closely with the lower division states, tribes, and other federal agencies and NGOs to complete a 2022 drought response operation plan. Well, where do we get our water? We get our water from way up here in Lake Powell, <clears throat> right on the Arizona-Utah border. Taking a look at this from Google Earth, you can see the as the rivers populate down here, this dam was built uh, 50 years ago. Lake Powell's not only a good source of water, but it's a great recreation site as well. Well, it used to be. And the water goes from Colorado, from the Rocky Mountains, from uh, Utah and Colorado, and flows into this lake. And there's a dam there, and there's a uh, power generator on that dam. Goes down here through the Grand Canyon. Once again, there's another dam over here on <clears throat> Lake Mead, just by Las Vegas. And it flows from there down the Colorado River, which is our border between us, Nevada, and California. And by the time it gets to Yuma, it's nothing but a dry riverbed. So what's going on? Well, <clears throat> what's happening is, you know, we always need the Rocky Mountains to get a good snowpack. And they're getting a good snowpack off and on, but the problem is the ground is still really dry. So instead of the water melting, heading over to Lake Powell, it's soaking into the ground and we're getting a fraction of what we used to get. Lake Powell is so low that <clears throat> when you look at some of the satellite images here, you can see that it's just dwindling, dwindling, dwindling away. You'll see this yellow line come up and that's where the water level used to be. And you can look and see where it is right now. And then the water level is getting so low that right now they're saying that we're just within a few feet of not being able to turn the turbines in the dam that generates electricity for up to 5 million people. That's not good. Not enough water in the dam to turn the turbines, and that will affect people that live up there in Page, Arizona, right next to Lake Powell, and the Indian reservations up there, the Navajo Indian Reservation. So it's not a good situation. <clears throat> now, there's other parts of the state in the outlying areas like Prescott, Pine, and Strawberry up in the mountains in uh, the White Mountains up in Arizona where the groundwater's dissipated to where people's wells are running dry. Now, they don't get their water from Lake Powell, but it's another example of how we're, there's less and less water out there for a buddy, and it's not making it into our aquifers. Now, what about us down here in the valley? Well, it says here some fast facts to know about Arizona water supply. Arizona leads the nation with rigorous water conservation efforts. And because of the 1980 Groundwater Management Act, Arizona has the legal and physical infrastructure that maintains a 100-year assured water supply to meet the current needs and in residents and in industry. How so, you say? Well, we're currently below 1957 water usage levels due to the increased conservation methods and the decrease in the amount of water used for agriculture. Got a lot of people moving here. We don't have as many cotton farms. We don't have as many wheat farms, corn farms, you know, fields. So we're using less water overall. <clears throat> we have five times more water stored than we use and has never ma uh, updated, mandated municipal or re residential restrictions on uses throughout our state's history. That remains to be seen if that's going to happen. I realize we haven't issued any mandates, but, uh, you know, on Monday, August 16, 2021, U.S. officials declared the first ever water shortage from the Colorado River, which will call, cause Arizona to take an 18% cut this year. But it follows up and says this will not impact municipal or residential uses. Arizona has the junior water position along the Colorado River, and that's been the case since 1968 when the Central Arizona Project was authorized. Because of our longstanding position, we've been prepared for decades and implemented long-term planning and solutions. So we're about to see our first cut. They're going to want us to cut back 18% because there's no water coming down to Colorado. It gets really desperate around June 
and starts to increase a little bit around July when we start seeing these monsoon rains hitting up by the Grand Canyon, puts more water in the river. But uh, there's going to be a little bit of a problem in getting that dam to operate perhaps before we get those uh, monsoon storms to populate the lake. Something to think about. Um, is this discouraging people from moving to Arizona? Well, according to that, we're using less water down here in the valley. Thinking about going to Prescott, thinking about going to Pine, Strawberry, the Payson area. Yeah, you may want to look very closely at what their water situation is. Now, nobody knows how this is going to shake out. But uh, I hope that answers your question on the water here in Arizona and uh, and whether or not you're going to come down here and find out, oh, my gosh, I'm not going to have any water. Um, I'm a little concerned about the power generating. Where are we going to plug in all of our le electric cars, right? <laughs> hope that helps. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button. Take care.